this mug ain't no joke. I had a tough, tough time last night, but I powered through. Got some updates for y'all. Welcome to Detox Diaries, episode four. You hear me? Yo, yo, welcome back. So we are on day five of the Raw Fruit Detox. Let's get it. Super happy about making it this far. We're almost a week down. Um, and that's exciting. I uh, just want to give you all a couple updates. So last night was a grinder. I'm telling you last night was a grinder. Something was taking over me. I was ready to risk it all. I I just I just had this ravenous hunger and it just nothing could satiate it. It's like I kept eating fruit, kept tossing down oranges, mangoes, whatever. And it just wasn't hitting how I needed it to hit at all. It this itch in my stomach that it could not scratch. And no matter how much fruit I consumed, it just wasn't doing what it needed to do. Um, my lady, she was asleep, and I was literally ready to risk it all. This is like nice little vegan Ethiopian spot down the street from me. And I was, I was ready to creep out the house and go get me some. But, you know, I, I stayed disciplined. I stayed focused on it. I'm glad that I did stay disciplined. I'm glad that I, I did, you know, stay on my goals. But uh, I am going to give you all an update. I may, I may make an adjustment. Uh, it's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. So something's kind of got to give. And we do have to adapt and adjust as we go. So that the fruit fast can't continue. Um, one of those adjustments that I'm going to make is moving forward. Some days I may intermittent fast. I want to get used to being uh, hungry. And I feel like uh, even though I am eating fruits, even though I'm working out too, that's a whole nother thing. I'm working out five days a week for at least like an hour or more. Um, I want to get used to intermittent fasting so my body can be used to being in a fasted state. So when I do get those hunger pains, it's just not something that's not as difficult. And also, you know, fasting is really good when it comes to um, detoxification anyway. So yeah, definitely intermittent fast. I don't know how I'm going to set it up. I don't know if I'm going to do this every day or if I'm going to just do this a couple days a week, but we'll, we'll, we'll make adjustments as we move forward. And then the last adjustment that I made is I might start incorporating some greens on certain days, like the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just a Friday or a Saturday, one day a week. I'm not sure how I'm going to structure it. And I'm not even sure if this is something that I'm going to do, but I'm about 80% sure it's something I'm going to do. My body has been craving, 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 craving some greens. Now, I'm not going to let up on anything else, like start eating cooked foods or you know, start eating rice and beans or anything like that. But uh, I'm thinking about tossing in some greens, possibly on the weekend or one day a week, just to, you know, mix it up from the fruit. If that does happen, you guys will definitely know. And if it happens, it'll happen today. And I'll, I'll, I'll take y'all along on that journey oh, too. One other thing I did, I was on some fat stuff. So my my lady, she had some, uh, some rice and beans in the fridge, right? And I was so, so hungry. So what I did was I opened up the rice and beans and I just took a big smell, just <sighs> and then I closed the bowl and then I tossed it back in the fridge. <laughs> and I just started praying because I was just like, yo, I got to stay. Look, she like, she next to me laughing. I was like, I got to stay disciplined. I got to stay focused. So I'm definitely going to keep y'all updated. Been a bad boy. I decided to make a salad. Forgive me, y'all. <laughs> At least it's a salad and not something cooked, but it's all a part of the journey. Yo, so we back in the crib now from the uh, Asian market, and I'm going to show you what we rocking with for this raw vegan salad. Let's get it. All right, bet. So got a, quite a few things. This rang up to about $43. I think, nah, 47 something dollars. And that's not including these uh, roasted cashews. This is something that my lady picked up from somewhere else, but it's a part of the recipe. So here we go. Um, green onion, garlic, limes, kale, sweet pepper, avocado, okra, uh, tomatoes, cucumber, um, regular onion, radish. It's a little bit of organic mint, some mushrooms and dried sun-dried uh tomatoes i got a couple different things as you can see um some of them are going to be the actual salad and some of those things will go into making a dressing so let's get it 
All right, so bear with me. Uh, we're working on our production studio right now. So in the meantime, we're going to be thugging it out in my kitchen on the iPhone. But I'm going to show you all this delicious uh, raw um, Caesar vegan salad dressing. So let's get it. So these are the ingredients that you'll need. Cashews, fine salt, chives, dill weed, onion powder, one garlic clove, one green so to be honest, this is a pretty straightforward recipe. Um, I showed y'all the ingredients. I'm gonna give y'all some of the measurements and then I'm gonna show y'all the after. So I got the measurements pulled up right here, but it's gonna be a cup of cashews, um, two thirds to three fourth cup of water, two cloves of garlic, um, a half teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of lemon juice or half of a lemon, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of dry dill, uh, a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can increase that to your liking. Um, a half teaspoon of chives and one tablespoon of green onion. So those are the ingredients. Those are the measurements for the ingredients. And I'm gonna show y'all what this after is looking like. All right, so this is what the concoction is looking like before we put it in the blender. Mm -hmm, it's already smelling good. So this is the final product as far as the dressing goes. This is the salad. We got radish, sweet pepper, onion, avocados, mushroom, tomatoes, and kale. Y'all see that nice juicy kale at the bottom? I'm about to dig in. Let's get it. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. You see it. Look at all them colors. Ain't she fine? Yo, yo. So uh, tapping back in. On my way to boxing practice right now. Um, I'm a little low energy, and I got some updates for y'all. So first off, the salad, ooh, the salad was absolutely delicious. Mwah, chef's kiss, right? <clears throat> but uh, I took about two. No, nah, I took more than two. I took a couple bites, and I probably ate like more than half of that salad. I crushed all the kale and some of the other, I put too much dressing, so some of the other veggies got a little soggy and I didn't want them, but I refurbished them. It was good, but I just think my mind was trying to go salad crazy, maybe due to cravings, not something that I needed. Now that I self-reflect, because I went to H-Mart, spent about $50. I spent $47 and some change to be exact. And I got the okra, I got the kale, I got the radish, I got this. And I'm like, yeah, we about to commit to this. Every weekend, we gonna eat our salads. And I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And I had the salad and I'm like, you know, I could have just thugged it out with the fruits. I really could have just thugged it out with the fruits. I didn't necessarily need that. Because after having it, you know, I feel full, I feel satiated, but, um. I feel like I just basically could have made it through. And I came to the conclusion of what I was actually missing. The thing that I was actually missing was just water. I'm not properly hydrated. So I got my gallon water on me right now. I started chugging the water after I had the salad, so on and so forth. And that felt like that did the trick for whatever my body was looking for as far as satiation goes. And that's something that's so important. So, 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 so important for us to truly stay hydrated because <clears throat> even though you may be eating a lot of fruits and you think oh you know i'm i'm hydrated h2o3 you still got to drink water especially if you're not eating pounds on pounds of fruit i know i'm eating a good amount of fruits every day but <clears throat> to keep my my savings you know to save money and to keep my costs low i'm not going in like now, mind you, if I had a garden or unlimited fruits, I'd be eating pounds of fruit. I probably wouldn't need as much water directly. But because of the quantity of fruits that I'm eating, I do need a lot more spring water than, you know, I would if I was just eating constant watermelon, coconuts, mangoes all day long. So, you know, I'm kind of, I, I kind of woke up to this realization. I, I may not do the salad thing on the weekends like I said um, I may just stick to just the raw fruits instead of the raw fruits and the veggies and uh, you know I don't have a problem with it you know I I'm glad if I was going to do anything uh, different than raw fruits that it was still raw vegetables nothing was cooked 
y'all got to see how delicious that recipe was and uh this is a journey so uh i'm gonna just keep listening to my body and i'm gonna up the water intake after i ate that salad too i just i don't know i feel a little off not that the i don't i don't want to say the salad is making me feel off the salad is good for you but i just think all those things at once hitting my stomach just ugh, you know it's a bit much i put hella onions in that jump too so it's like when i was biting into the onions they were just like <laughs> to my nostrils so i don't know and i feel like my, my body's in this weird state because it's like all the stuff that i'm eating is supposed to be purging my body but i probably don't have enough liquids so my body's just like what are you doing bro like i need i need that hydration so you can get out this calcification that's how i'm taking it so I'm probably not, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna make no commitments or firm promises, but probably not gonna be going the weekend salad thing. Maybe salad every few weeks or something like that. You know, raw veggie vegetable salad every few weeks. But I really don't see any need to now that I got a taste of what I was looking for. But now I'm left with all these vegetables. So what to do? I may make a few more salads just to wrap up the veggies that I already have. But as far as like, like I said, this is a salad thing. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be something that's consistent. I just stick to the raw fruits and uh, just up the ante when it comes to the hydration and water and stuff. Also, if I don't make any extra salads with the vegetables that I have left over, so I don't waste them, just juice. All right, tapping with y'all after I come from boxing practice just to let you know how I feel. Right now, I'm just kind of a little out of it, a little out of it, but uh, we thugging it out. So just got out of boxing practice. Man, it was an amazing session, about two and a half hours. Got a chance to rap with my coach after, and uh, he's more than just a, a boxing coach. He's also a mentor, a leader in the community, you know, a father. And uh, he just put me on a game about some stuff. So it's just always good to be able to have uh, other positive men that, you know, you can lean on and uh, get insight from and wisdom and so on and so forth. So he definitely put me on. He, he dropped some cold game on me. He says, it's better to take a hard right than an easy wrong. And uh, that really just uh, resonated in my spirit, especially with this detox being something that is very difficult and temptation being so abundant. So um, I'm gonna I'm a follow suit. I'm gonna take my hard rights and not my easy wrongs. And we're gonna, we're gonna go from there, um, you know. I said that I was going to make a commitment to just stick with fruits. Um, I saw how my body responded today with the salad. Um, so I'm gonna stick to that commitment that I made, you know, and uh, not make no excuses behind it, you know, and just uh, do my best at the end of the day. Um, I do got a bunch of salad stuff at the crib right now, though, so I, I, gotta, I do gotta finish that up. I don't wanna be wasteful, but uh, but yeah, you know, just make a commitment to really do my best and lock in. And I think that message, when I, I think I know that message was, was, was God sent. So I really appreciate him putting me on when we talked about that and some of the other things that we had a discussion about as well. So, you know, it's lit. I'm just, I'm, I'm very grateful. You know, that was, that was an on time type of message. Now, as far as how I feel, you know, my body, so on and so forth, I feel good. I feel good. It was actually a great session. It's so, it's so funny. I was thinking rest was what I needed to feel better when actually what I needed was exercise. Ain't that something? So I got a nice boxing session in, you know, and uh, I'm feeling good. So, you know, we get ready to wrap up day five of the raw fruit detox. And uh, this is episode three or not episode three, we're on episode four of Detox Diaries. I appreciate you if you stay tuned in thus far. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping these from time to time, like I said. No no particular order. Um, but uh, when something speaks to my spirit, definitely drop some information. Drop some game for y'all and whatnot. But anyways, I appreciate y'all again. Peace and love.